have um, Amos plugin and you know about uh, Pattern Matrix Builder, this plugin. So let me tell you how you're going to use this plugin to make your confirmatory factor analysis pretty easier. So you don't need to draw, for example, uh, if you want to, if you have variables with their uh, indicators, you don't have to start drawing like this. So to do that quickly, the, the, the next thing you want to do is just to use factor analysis to um, quickly draw, create your um, pattern matrix. So to do that, you quickly go to dimension re reduction, factor, and then I have all the variables, uh, the item statements in the SPSS. I will select them and put into the variables. So I will select rotation and I will select principal as is factoring. I will leave it at the icon value of one. Then I will go to, I will click continue. Then I will select rotation. I will use the orthogonal rotation here, which is the promise. Then I will sort by size. So in this case, I want to leave it at the absolute value of 0 0.5 so this will make the the factors factor loadings to, to load pretty high above the recommended threshold of 0 0.6 or it could be 0 0.7 as, as the case may be depending on the literature that you want to base on so i will quickly head over to the pattern matrix and so this is a very short tutorial here so i will now select my pattern matrix builder click on my pattern matrix builder and copy that head over to um, the emos go to my plugins select pattern matrix builder and i will select where i've got the analysis youtube factor analysis so it will open the window for the pattern matrix then i will paste the results of the factor um, analysis that generated the pattern matrix for me then i will click create brilliant so you can see that I've already created my CFA model instead of drawing them one after the other. And you can see that it's pretty neat, clean, and interesting. So I will now name the variables that I want. I can say support, um, then I can say customer support example this one I can name this one um, experience call this product experience this I can call this satisfaction so I'm gonna call this customer satisfaction Then this one, I call this one money, and then I will label it value for money. Okay. Then the next thing is to resize. Uh, I'll simply select all of them and then resize so that I'll make my model look good. Um, I'll change the shape so I use this to resize. Okay, then we use the move object to draw, drag it a little bit. So you can see my model is looking good. So when I run the analysis, the, the results will be easily readable. Okay, so I can just save, right. Okay, so I'm, I'm ready to run my analysis at this point.
So the next thing is to head over to analysis property and then I will check output. I want to see the standardized estimates and then the modification indices. Then I will calculate estimates. Good. And the result is out. Then I will select the standardized estimates. So this is how you check. You quickly run your analysis and keep an eye on uh, the factor loadings to see if there is anyone that is loading so low. Uh, you can just use these to check. Okay. Um, we have uh, PE5 0.62, but that's not too bad. Um, some literature we say 0.6, some we say. 0.7 as stretch hold for um, accepting the factor loadings okay but again another thing you want to keep an eye on is the uh, like i have 0.62 so you want to also check the item statements that you have because um and you need to know how close how they are relating to um how important they are to your study so if the item statements are not to uh, is something you can do away with but I think 0 0.6 is also not bad the next thing we want to do now is that you, you check your view test to see whether you're meeting the threshold you can see um, this is uh, this is loading very well we need to have between 1 and 3 and this is good the CFI is 0 0.9 and above TLI 0 0.9 and above IFI 0 0.9 and above and the RMSCA this is still not bad okay so um you can you can use james gaskins plugin to to quickly uh, the pattern matrix builder and then use it to run uh, quickly create your um the cfa model thank you